use this not that hair loss products from a dermatologist. If you have this, use this. All right, I don't really understand why they showed hair loss because ketoconazole is not going to treat your hair loss. It is gonna help with dandruff for sure. Those effects are very real. Some people claim that it will reduce DHT in the scalp. I don't think it's really gonna do that at all. You're gonna need like a finasteride if you're really worried about DHT inhibition. Not that. This conditioner will make your hair look nice and shiny. I bet, I have no doubts about that, but it's not gonna create any real hair regrowth. Or use this. Viviscal, if your hair loss is nutrient deficiency related, postpartum related, it could have some helpful benefits. But for most people who are dealing with androgenetic alopecia, this is going to do nothing. But not that. Biotin, kind of quack stuff if we're being honest here. People with biotin deficiencies, this would be helpful for regrowing their hair, but almost nobody has a meaningful biotin deficiency. This is a very rare condition. So for most people, you're just wasting your money with these biotin pills. Or use this. Topical minoxidil, it is the gold standard. We need better topicals and we're developing those currently at Antigen, but topical 5% minoxidil is one of the best topical treatments out there for hair loss. But not that. Castor oil, peppermint oil, salt palmetto, nonsense. This is real quack stuff. It, the, the studies that exist are misleading at best. I would not try any of this or waste your time.